If you're selling anything online, you know the importance of social proof. Usually that comes in the form of reviews from your previous customers or clients. Well, in this video, I'm going to be taking you step by step through the system that I built so that you can fully automate the review process in your business. Hi, my name is Gareth Pronovost and I help my clients unlock the full potential of Airtable and Zapier so that they have more time to work on their business instead of being stuck working in their business. As I mentioned in this video, we're going to be going through an automated process that you can build for your business in order to get more reviews on an automated basis. So the major outline of this project is going to be as follows. First, we're going to record a, a date that we are delivering a product or service in our Airtable CRM. Then using Zapier, we're going to look at that date and add a certain amount of time. Now that amount of time is completely dependent on your business. You don't want it to be too long or too short, so experiment internally to find the right amount of time for you. Then when that amount of time has triggered, we will send an email to the client and request that they fill out a review online, again, inside of Airtable. And then lastly, we're going to build the third and final step, which will embed a specific Airtable view of completed reviews that we've internally approved. So let's go ahead and jump on in and take a look at how this is going to work. So first things first, we have our CRM in Airtable that tracks our clients. Now, of course, this is very limited. Your CRM is probably a lot more complex, but this is what's required to at least trigger this zap. So we need a first name, a last name, an email address, and a delivery date. Now inside here, we're gonna set up a special view that is only looking at completed projects. And we're gonna filter out, only, we're only gonna filter in those projects that have a completed delivery date. So the delivery date has to not be empty. Now, uh, that's an important step because we don't want to send this uh, email or get that triggered before we've actually delivered the product or service. So let's go ahead and I'll use myself as an example and I want to do this so that I'm actually gonna receive that email that we get through the Zapier integration. So jumping on into Zapier then, we have a new, we're gonna pull back that record. And so the delivery date 12.2 is the delivery date that's showing up here inside of Airtable. So once we have that record selected, let's go on into the next step of Zapier. And this is where we're going to calculate a new date and time. And this is the date or time that we want to for the next part of the Zap to uh, occur. So in this case, in this example, I'm just gonna use uh, a date and I'm gonna say, hey, I'm gonna add two weeks and 10 hours to this time here. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what that's gonna uh, return inside of Airtable. So inside of Zapier, what we have is a date that was uh, recorded as 12.2, and what we're returning here is a date that is two weeks and 10 hours later. So if we were to look at a quick calendar, we would see 12.2 and then two weeks later will be uh, 12.16 at 10 a.m. And that's exactly what is being returned here. So this is looking great. Now the next step is to set up a delay. And a delay inside Zapier is how you wait a certain amount of time before you trigger the next thing. So in this example, we're going to uh, delay for the amount of time that we established in our second step. So we're just bringing that second step in and we're saying, hey, we're delaying until then. And so we're gonna go ahead and uh, move on through here. We don't need to test this step. Since it's a delay, it wouldn't really serve a purpose for this video anyway. And then the last step here is that we're gonna send an email to the, the uh, client that we find inside of Airtable, and we're going to write them a message. In this case, I just said something very simple like, hey, I hope everything's working out well for you. If you could please uh, you know, click this link and leave us a review, that would be appreciated. Something you know, really easy like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, test this step and we're gonna bring in a new email and we're gonna make sure that I'm sending this to myself. And let's go ahead and test that. And I'm gonna bring in my email from another window once it arrives. All right, great. So now I've received this new email and it looks just like this. 
So I hope you continue to enjoy the systems and blah, blah, blah. This is the message that we've written inside of Zapier. So fantastic. This is exactly what it turns out like. And then the hope is that the customer or client will then you know, click to the link to review. Now let's jump back into Airtable really quickly and look at what the reviews, uh, looks, the reviews table looks like. So inside the reviews table, we have three views. These are the uh, points of data that we are going to ask to collect from the client. And then in the uh, next view, we're looking at a form view. Now the form view is how we uh, give someone else access to create a new record in our table. And so uh, there are definitely other videos uh, that I can share with you uh, in the link below if you are not clear on how to use a form view. And then of course the gallery view is how we're going to display this data for uh, our website. And so jumping back into the all records here, we're gonna go ahead and walk through the form. So this is the form that our clients will arrive to when they click the link. So I'm gonna just go ahead and fill out some example information. And uh, you can see that I've made some of these required fields and some are not. I will go ahead and attach a, a, a new file here. Let's see, maybe I'll just grab this logo. And then they leave us a rating and whatever you know, comments they say. And they submit. Now what happens is we are going to receive an email from Airtable that says that someone has left us a new, uh, a new message. So let me go ahead and see if we've received that email. And I'll bring it on over into my main screen here. All right, so here we go. We have this, uh, this new message from Airtable that someone has responded to form A and we can go ahead and uh, take a look at that. So once we receive this email, then we know to check back into Airtable and there it is. There's the information that we just filled out. And so you'll see that this does not yet show up on our gallery view because it hasn't been approved. And of course, we have a filter set up. So we can go back into the all records and once we've taken a look at this and approved this review, we just give it a thumbs up and now it will be appearing in our gallery view. Fantastic. All right, now the last step here is to embed this code from our gallery view into our website. So I'm gonna use a really simple Google site here. So inside my Google site, I've already embedded this code. You can do that right here uh, inside Google Sites by clicking embed in the corner and then just embed code. So that's how I got this all set up. And so this is the published site. And if I refresh this, it will automatically be populated with the updated uh, gallery view from Airtable. So now here is that latest review that we just received. So just a quick rewind here, we've got a three step process. One, building the uh, right connections and everything inside of Airtable. The second step is building that zap to send an automated email at a certain date and time. And then the third step is to have a specific view set up in Airtable that you can embed on your website so that you can just push a button and have all those reviews automatically sent to your site. All right, as always, I hope that was super helpful for you. If you did enjoy this video and you wanna see more content like this, do give us a thumbs up and be sure to click that little subscribe box. And if you have any custom work you'd like some help on, do check out the comments in the video uh, where I've left a link so that you can schedule some time with me on my calendar for a free chat. And in the meantime, best of luck as you continue to grow your empire.